If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. I just spent the last four to five minutes watching a, uh, a video with this dude dancing around in a fake Iron Man costume and repeating the same words over and over again. Dude, I'm pissed. I'm sick of this shit. That, that video had millions of views. It was released a couple of days ago. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It's time to review a good, a good album. This is an underground hip hop, you know, up and comer. Somebody that I've been down with for a minute, listening to shit, watching her grow. She's from that North North. Venom stay dripping, y'all. With product of the North Side. This album's dope. The last review I made, I had to just roast the fuck out of somebody because they had hella like production type shit going on and no skills. But this time, I get to be happy and gleeful in a review because Venom Stay Drippin's shit is dope. Like, the my favorite thing about this album is just the range because not every day you get a dope female MC that can spit bars, you know, on some tech level shit. I'm gonna just keep it 100 with y'all. On some tech nine level shit with the hip hop roots, with the with the with the nineties flavor, and she can sing. So you got that double, you know, the double threat going with the singing, the the rapping. You know, got the got the Drake popping off a little bit. But she's original. You know, the elephant in the room. Yeah, this is a this is a white chick. This is a white chick that can rap. Got bars. And I think that holds a lot of people back. Because they see that and they're like, oh. And especially, I'm gonna just keep it 100 with y'all. Like, if you ain't upper echelon like rapper and you you will black dude, I'm gonna just keep it real and you stumble across Venom State Dripping in your heart, I know it make you palpitate a little bit because you're like damn man, she got bars like that just mad as fuck, you know what I'm saying, just mad this ain't slow flow, like she got range, she can she can rap slow, she can speed it up and she can go into like some hyper fast turbo mode, but she still enunciates so you can still understand the words. And that's why I said kind of like tech. Because when tech speeds up, you can still understand the words. Now, a lot of fools be chopping and you can't understand crap. And then they want to get mad at you talking about, well, why don't you speed up the way you think? It's like, motherfucker, you sound like Daffy Duck. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. You sound like Daffy Duck. We can't understand you. It's garbage. But not Venom Stay Dripping. It, it's just crazy listening to the variety of tracks on here and it's soulful and it, it sounds like she was born in the 80s like i keep it real with you it, it sounds like some straight up 90s music it, with with swag you know what i'm saying like i don't want to say 90s and make it, it it don't sound old but that hip-hop flavor from the 90s that that female mc that had more to say than just titties and my ass and I like to twerk and, and, and you know what I'm saying like that is what I'm talking about it's not like fucking some Cardi B type shit you know what I'm saying and speaking of Cardi B you know, Venom Stay Drippin actually writes her own stuff so this ain't like some female that got some dude behind her feeding her bars like she literally sets down and writes her own shit and that's really dope we need to boost people like this. There's no reason why Venom Stay Dripping don't have hella followers, don't have hella like views on YouTube, or uh, she need people listening to the stream. She's on like Spotify. She on everything. It's gonna come up. It'll show y'all. She on that shit. So y'all can check it out. I'll put links in the description. The shit dope. Now. The problem with this is, and I'm a, you know, I, I don't want to ruffle no feathers. I don't want nobody being mad if you guys are on the album. But I'm gonna keep it real. 
The problem with underground albums where they got features of other local artists is that um, sometimes they don't match up. Now, I want to commend for sure Marco Parks. Like, he is on the album, and when they are together, it's legit. Like, it sounds like mainstream music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I turned on the radio. Or I'm, it sounds legit. Um, very, very, very dope tracks together. Anytime you're doing a track and you got collabs, if the talent is not the same, it's, you're going to hear it. Like, you're going to hear somebody just blowing it out the water, and you'll hear somebody who may not be that good. Now, luckily for Venom, she picked some dope artists that had their own swag. And like I said, Marco Parks, legit. Uh, King Cash killed it. Uh, Mills did good. Um, that's about it. I am not trying to throw shade at nobody. Um, but, you know, it's just sometimes it don't match up. It's a variety of tracks on there. It's not like one feel to this. It's not like one individual sound to her album. Like you can listen to this all the way through, listen to the lyrics. She got stuff to say. It's not garbage. She's not repeating the same stuff over and over again. Like you will be entertained. And it's very rare that you find a female that's competing with male rappers on this level without you know, just selling sex. Like, it's easy if you get a female that, you know, just selling sex and getting on like that, but, like, to have a female that ain't selling sex and, like, actually can rap, and then you listen to her album and you listen to your favorite MC, you want to slap him in the face, you know what I'm saying? Because you're like, damn, man, you're getting murdered by this girl. Like, especially if your favorite MC ain't famous. Murdered. Murdered. Like, I've... Dude, I don't even know what to say. You guys need to click the links at the bottom and check this shit out for yourself. Uh, I listen to it on Spotify. It's on all kinds of platforms. I mean, dude, she needs shine. She needs a Patreon. You know what I'm saying? She need people hitting her in her PayPal donating. You know what I'm saying? She need to push. She need people sponsoring this shit. Y'all need to get on it. Before it's too late, get on the bandwagon of Venom Stay Dripping before it's too late. Now, whether you agree with me or you don't, comment below and let me know. I'm Mad Raps, and I'm out.